Hello! We are now having class through these lectures that I will be posting online, so I'm pretty excited about that technology allows us to still meet, even if it, if it means virtually. Now, pretty soon I'll also be adding in more information about how our class will be changing, but I wanted to go ahead and get started by at least trying out how to post a lecture. And I wanted to make it available to you so you can go ahead and get started on the new content as soon as possible. And so far, I have already done this lecture once in another application, and it has crashed. So I'm hoping that this second time around in a new application, uh, that things will go a lot more smoothly. Uh, so one of the things that math teaches is how to troubleshoot. And in life, there's a lot of opportunity for troubleshooting. When you get stuck on something, rather than giving up and throwing your pencil across the room, as often my kids do when they're trying to learn something, we want to try again. And so the same thing is true with me trying to learn how to post videos online. And also for you as you tackle these math topics that sometimes you don't understand the first time around. Sometimes you'll try a problem and you will get it wrong. And I want you to learn the very important life skill that if you don't get it right the first time, try again. Look at it from a different angle. Sometimes it means coming back later after you've had a meal or a nap or have done a different activity. Sometimes it means watching a different video, reading the textbook, doing whatever you need to do to get at it from a different angle. Troubleshooting is a really important life skill. And that's kind of what we're doing right now as we are transitioning through this emergency time. We are going into a some some uncharted territory here, right? Because we've not done this before, switched everything drastically in the middle of a semester, uh, basically gone on lockdown all over the world because of this new virus. So this is as new for me as it is for you, and I know that there may be a lot of stress right now in your life, and there's a lot of stress right now in my life too, especially now that the kids are no longer allowed at school. Well, we were already homeschooling our daughter, but our, our son, who has Down syndrome, needs a lot of a lot of attention, a lot of help at school from services, and now he's at home with us, and we're just trying to make do with the best that we can. I have some worksheets and just trying to make it make things work. So the same thing is true here. Actually, I find this less stressful of a transition. Going to online with you university students is uh, less stressful than trying to figure out how to homeschool my special needs child. But the good thing is, is that in all of these things, we have a chance to learn and to grow. Okay, so this was going to be my lecture, but instead I've made this an introduction. And now I'm going to attempt to try to post this online. And if I can post this online, then I will feel a whole lot more confident about trying to do an entire uh, 20, 30 minute lecture. I, what, what I'll do is instead of doing the full hour, 15 minute lecture, my plan is to break it up into smaller units. So since the lecture for, well, it was going to be Monday the 16th, and now it is officially the 23rd lecture, which now I am doing on the 18th. I'm going to try to post these a little early so you can have access to them longer. Also, that will give me a buffer if things go wrong. Another life lesson for you. Always have a buffer. Anyway, uh, I will do that one next, and that lesson is made up of two lessons from the book, right? 7.1 and 7.2. So I will do a lecture for 7.1, and then I will do a lecture for 7.2, and that way you can watch them separately, and if you need to do them in two separate uh, sittings, you can process it a little better. And of course, there are also those videos through My Open Math if you find those helpful. So I encourage you to just uh, use a, a variety of resources as we move forward. And that's, that's a good thing anyway. That's a good thing to learn in any education setting. Is, is how to use a variety of resources in order to achieve your objectives and your goals. All right, so now I'm going to wrap this up, and I will post it online, and then I'll get started on a new uh, lecture very soon, okay?